Today, we're going to walk around inside of the home from Full House, both the main floor and the upstairs, with ceilings and all four walls added, so it feels like a real home. Hi, I'm Marina Coates. Welcome to Behind the Scenes, where we get up close and personal with all your favorite TV and movie homes. Today we'll be exploring the main floor and upstairs of the home from Full House and answer the question, how did all of those rooms fit in this magic row house? Well, I'm going to show you exactly what the exterior would look like if it matched what was going on inside. Spoiler alert, it would actually expand into the house next to it. Let's get started. We'll begin with an overhead view of the main floor to get our bearings. This is the entryway and the main living area. Over here under the stairs is the alcove where Joey lived when he first came to the house. This is the kitchen, the door to the backyard where Kimmy Gibbler usually entered, and the stairs to the garage. And here is the laundry room. Because the home changed so much over the course of the series, I had to choose a season and stick with it. I chose season two for the tours you'll see today. The living room. The entry had a couple steps down into the living room. This is very common in TV homes. This alcove is where Joey briefly lived in the first season. It's my favorite part of the living room, tucked in under the stairs with a large window, a long curved window seat, and walls lined with bookshelves. Uncle Joey, played by Dave Coulier, was mostly known for his jokes and impersonations on the show, but Dave was more than a comedian. He went on to write and produce. Fun fact, in real life, Dave was very good friends with Bob Saget before the show began. He even lived with Saget and his then-wife at the time, sleeping on their couch in the early 80s. Art imitated life. Next to Joey's alcove was a magical, ever-changing area. Sometimes it's a set of stairs leading down. Other times it's just a nook. And in one episode, someone is even told that they could find a bathroom back there. I recently visited the real-life home used for the exterior shots on the show. I noticed that there were no windows on what would be the fourth wall of the living room here, the wall we never saw. Well, I take that back. We saw a snippet of it once. This much was shown to us. Since there are windows throughout the home that don't show up on the exterior, I chose to include windows on this wall in the tour. Probably the most iconic piece of furniture in this room is the blue plaid couch. It screams 90s and full house. Sometimes there were two plaid couches facing each other, and sometimes only one with blue club chairs on the other side. A couple years ago, John Stamos posted that he had the couch from the house at his home. And earlier this year, Candace Cameron Bure posted a photo of herself sneaking over to his place to steal it from him while he was out. Love it. Some scenes that took place in the living room. Jesse and the Rippers practicing their numbers. DJ dropping an egg from the balcony for a school assignment and Becky telling Jesse she's pregnant through a game of Pictionary. Now we'll take a tour of just the living room before we tour the whole main floor.
the kitchen. The kitchen is huge, much larger than it appears on screen when we only see portions at a time. But take a look at this view of the stage. This gives you a feel for just how massive the kitchen would be if it actually was real. It comes in at 1,050 square feet, and that's just for the kitchen. I'll be giving you the rest of the stats later on as we continue the tour. This door led to the porch outside. These stairs lead to the basement that housed the garage and later Joey's room and Jesse's studio. And these are the mystery stairs. I'll show you where they would end up when we tour the upstairs. But the only shot we ever got of someone arriving at the top of the stairs is from this angle, as if both sets of stairs take them to the same spot, which of course isn't possible. The kitchen changed just a little over the original series, but not much compared to some TV homes. Some scenes that took place in the kitchen. DJ accidentally getting married around the kitchen table. Joey bringing home a date who is a fellow comic who disappoints with their lack of humor, and Stephanie crashing the car through the wall. And now we'll tour the whole main floor. Next, we'll go upstairs. Upstairs. You'll notice that on the exterior, the home stops right after this bay window. But on the interior, we are shown this staircase after the bay window. With this window here. We're also shown this window after the bay in the upstairs bathroom. Neither of these windows is shown on the exterior. Later on, I'll show you what the exterior would look like if it really matched the interior of the home. There are actually two sets of steps on this staircase. There are the ones leading up to the landing, but we also see people coming down another set of steps right here. You can see an example of that here. The bathroom. The bathroom was the first room at the top of the stairs. I've added a toilet here in this corner. When I create these tours, I show them exactly as they appeared on the show. But since we never got to see this part of the room on the show, it allowed me to add a toilet there. There was a stained glass window here, which would have shown up on the exterior here. There was carpet on the floor. That's right, carpet. And the room changed over the course of the series, but pink and green remained the main color combo. Here's a quick tour of just the bathroom. At the end, we'll get a tour of the entire upstairs with all the doors open so you get a feel for the layout. <laughs>
Next up on the tour is Michelle's room. There was a lot of switching of rooms going on during the series, but remember, I'm modeling this after season two. In that season, this was Michelle's room. Michelle was, of course, played by twins Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. As you also probably know, after the show, they went on to co-found a luxury fashion brand. Fun fact, for anyone who doesn't already know, although they look nearly identical as kids, they're actually fraternal twins. Now let's take a spin around the room a way we've never seen it before, with a ceiling and all four walls, just like in a real home. Then we'll continue on down the hallway. Next up, Jessie's room. In season one, we discover that Jessie has taken the room that formerly belonged to Stephanie, hence the pink bunnies on the walls. But he quickly adds his own favorite things, guitars, posters of motorcycles, and one of Elvis. John Stamus, who played Jessie, is a huge Beach Boys fan. He attended his first Beach Boy concert at age 15, but later actually got to tour with the band. This was all before he starred in Full House, and his connection to the band led to them making appearances on the show. Now we'll take a short tour of Jesse's room before we move on down the hallway. At the end, we'll tour the entire upstairs. The girls' room. In season two, which I modeled this after, DJ and Stephanie share this room. Later, it would become Stephanie and Michelle's room. It's such a cute layout for a kid's room, and I just love their alcove with the bay window. So sweet. Who wouldn't want this room as a kid? This room is very 90s as well. I was curious to see what this room might look like today if DJ and Stephanie were living there now as kids. So here's the before and after. The room has such good bones, it made it fun to work with. Candace Cameron Bure, who played DJ to perfection, went on to become the queen of Hallmark movies. Jodie Sweeten, who portrayed Stephanie, has continued to work as an actress and has become a public advocate for addiction recovery, completing her degree as a drug and alcohol counselor. Now we'll take a tour of the girls' room and then it's on to Danny's room. Danny's room. The room at the end of the hall is Danny Tanner's room. We weren't shown this room very often, but it has some interesting amenities compared to the other rooms. He had his own balcony, a fireplace, and his own bathroom. You'll notice there's no doors shown on the bathroom. 
I'm guessing it's because it would have gotten in the way of the shot of the bathroom. I gave him a pocket door into the bathroom so we too could get a good view of the bathroom as we tour the room. We were shown a bit of what would have been on the fourth wall here in this image from the show. Sadly, Bob Saget, who played Danny Tanner, passed away unexpectedly in January of this year. His fellow cast members had so many wonderful things to say about him. In fact, they all told one story after another of the kind things he had done for them. He will be missed. We'll tour the bedroom now with the balcony door open, then it's on to the full hallway tour and views of what the exterior would have looked like if it actually matched the interior. For those of you who are curious where the stairs in the kitchen would end up, although there is room for a staircase to come out here, the kitchen stairs would actually end up here. Now let's take the full tour of the upstairs. What makes shows like this so lasting in our memories? The warmth, the comfort, the stability, the appeal of a loving family. This home became a second home for so many. It wasn't exactly real life, but it was the life we all wanted, the life we craved. No heavy drama. Problems unlike in real life were easy to solve. Relationships could be tested and then healed. While we watched the show, the heaviness of the real world could be put on pause. We could see things like they could be, maybe as they should be. They loved each other. They were family. All of the cast members got along so well in real life outside the set and are still friends to this day. I think maybe that's why it also came across that way on screen. These people genuinely liked each other. No acting needed for that. It wasn't necessary. They were, and still are, friends. To see what the exterior would look like if it matched the interior, click on the link below this video and it will take you there. I'll also have all of the stats on that home at the same link. As for today, that's a wrap. See you next time on Behind the Scenes.